How are you doing today guys? My name is Paula Astronaut and I just recently purchased a Elgato Stream Deck so I figured I would make a video just going through how to set it up some maybe some commands I use that you guys would find helpful so take what you wish from this video and I hope it helps you let's get right into it all right for the sake of the video I moved a bit of my setup here maybe if I turn it this way it's a bit more visible um but so the so the software that comes with it uh you get off the stream the elgato website i'll have it down below it ends up looking like this and how it works is once you plug in your stream deck you could basically you have all these lists of different things that you could assign buttons to um for example if you're streaming on twitch you could do a chat message one um you have this viewer one that shows your view count and i'm just going to show you some of them that i have set up so on my uh base screen i guess you could say uh i have all sorts of different icons as you can see here this bottom row is social media links uh, links to twitter uh youtube twitch reddit my email so now for example if i hit the twitch button i brought it up on my other monitor but uh, gives me a it pops up with my my dashboard so now even if I were to hit I don't know the YouTube one it is set up to my YouTube channel as well so how you set these up is I'm gonna just for this for the sake for the sake of being I'm gonna delete my YouTube one you would go to uh, I'm just gonna close all these to make it a bit more easier for you guys to see it's under system website and then you just drag that in there and you can name it whatever uh you can just name it youtube and put the link in um but personally i don't like the look of these you can change the text and the position of it on the button and it will update instantly on the on the button on the stream deck although from this angle i do it, it does end up um giving a weird glare on the camera but I have uh you could also make icons to set individually. I don't know where my YouTube one is. So I guess I'll have to make another. But Elgato does have a icon creator. So if you do click create new icon, it'll open this here which essentially you can you can add an image. Let's just stop that. Say I wanted to just do this one. This is my basic what I just did for YouTube and it has layers just similar to photoshop so if you ever used photoshop it would be pretty second nature and you could always add other stuff as well and if say you wanted to make them in photoshop and put them on it's very easy um for example if i wanted to i don't know say put my old logo on a button it would be on the button i could take away the title and then i would know hey this button here pops up to my youtube channel so that's 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 uh definitely my favorite uh one of my favorite features of it uh, obviously you guys are here probably for more stream related stuff so i'll get into that right here i have hotkeys to streamlabs obs setup and um streamlabs chatbot so how you would do this is just system you would go let me delete this you would go to open put it in the slot you hit the three dots you go to the app that you would like to open uh for example for this one i'm doing streamlabs chatbot so i think it's actually under should be under streamlabs chatbot and then you do the the application this is the shortcut for it but regardless I, <coughs> excuse me. i think it looks a little bit dirty with that with the text on it um as it clutters most of the box so i just like to delete the text and just have a little icon i know what it stands for so it helps me out <clears throat> i have of course discord steam and BattleNet. uh same way with all these in terms of how you get the button right here i have a folder for um photoshop flip studio and painter essential six but i don't really use these anymore because i don't have my drawing tablet but um how you would make a folder is pretty simple as well um you would actually right click the the square and hit create folder and then you could go into that folder and put anything in any of these you can do another folder in this folder and then a folder in this folder and then a folder 
in this folder and it's literally endless um the amounts of things that you can do with this um so people that get really creative with it awesome you're, you're set like this will this will benefit you in your stream entirely plus it has other functions i've heard of people um using using the shortcuts for or changing this to shortcuts for photoshop since you can do um hotkey switches and hotkeys so you could set a hotkey and photoshop to something completely strange like i don't know um alt shift end bracket and you can have that set to a certain tool and just set it as a hotkey on here by going through to hotkey then click to assign and then i would do so that'd be alt shift end bracket and then whenever i hit that key it'll do input alt shift and bracket and i could name it uh, i don't know say i wanted to use it for um uh, it'll be my paste <laughs> random example and then now i would know whenever i hit this button on photoshop it'll do the alt sh shift end bracket uh so if you get creative with that in photoshop or any other maybe a video editing program there's really a lot you can do with that here i have my sony vegas application so now here's where we get to the good stuff this here it's live i i, I just named it live so this has all my tweets that I tweet out when I go live in this. If I can, hold on, let me, give me a second to try to adjust this so you guys can get a better shot of it. All right, so now I'm back. I have the settings for my camera a bit weird, but you'll, you'll, you'll get a better, more uh, precise shot on how the stream deck looks uh, and how clear these visuals show up on there. But anyway, going into this, we have here, I named it games and graphic, um, how you would do, how you would go about setting these up you would click to go to Twitter go to, I don't know why you would do to use it for change name. Um, but whatever tweet, bring it up. Uh, have you sign into your Twitter account, but you, if you do use multiple accounts, you can set them up for individual accounts. Um, type in, I don't know, say I wanted to use this for test, whatever test. So we'll, we'll and you can only post the tweet every 12 hours as it says here. So if you go live multiple times a day, maybe set up different buttons or however you want like to do that. I'm just gonna put, hey, video test. Um, and you can, you have the choice then to add an attachment. Say I wanted to add, I don't know, this picture of space in there, right? So now I'm gonna go to my Twitter really quick. And all right, nothing too bad here. We got some progressive ads and dance gaming. So let's go ahead and hit the button. It'll give you a little, hey, we did it. Okay, good. Oh, well, uh, and then two new tweets. Hey, video test. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that tweet. But it's a really cool function to really promote when you're going live. Um, because personally, what I do when I go live is I post it on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, um, what else? All Just all sorts of social media. So it does make it significantly easier just to be able to press this button and make sure that Twitter's out of the way, I'm all set. Uh, especially if you wanna set it up for a week or and just have like a week's worth, um, say you play different games every day or however you'd like to set, a, set that up, I think it's pretty cool. Next, I have streams. Um, this is more of a personal folder I made. It has a bunch of streamers that I watch regularly. Um, and then if I hit any of these buttons, say Zalazny here, it opens his Twitch. Um, I do this, one, one reason that I like to do this too is say I wanna host someone, instead of checking to see if they're live, I can just switch to one of these buttons and it'll pop up um, their, their channel and I could tell instantly if they're live. The only downside is I wish there was a way, uh, Elgato, if you can implement this, please do to see if they're live from from this panel um although i did this completely by myself using the system open or system website button and i put all their links individually in here as well as a picture so i would have i would just what i did was i would go to twitch say let's go to zelazny again we'll just hit his button and I would right click this icon up here, save image as Zelazny, put it on my desktop really quick. And then I would upload set from file and I would use his picture. Uh, say I want to do it for this, um, this other one, just do that. And whatever the case may be, 
Um, I just think that this is a cool little one, especially showing it off. Um, shout out to all these people here. <laughs> so we'll go back one more time. Actually, one thing I'm not sure I want to check. Can I change the folder? You can change the folder icon too. I did not know that, but now I do. So, and then last but not least, the biggest enchilada of this video. Um, we have all my OBS stuff. So this is everything I use when I stream. So we start here. We have the multimedia functions down below. So play. So if I have song quests on, this will play the song, next song, back, volume for my system. Uh, pretty basic. This, this I figured would be like, oh, I know what that is. These are scene switchers. Um, here, I'll go, I'll go to this one. Say I want to go to cam only. Hi, it's me. Um, and say we wanted to go back. I don't have the scene that I'm on currently set to a hockey, but say I wanted to go to my, I don't know, my in-game screen. I have a button for that. You can't see me at the button because I'm set up and I don't have a game in the background, so you can't see that. But um, that's what I have these set to. And it'll show you, um, like it'll light up green like this one when these are when you're on each specific scene these two up here oh, i just muted myself there without really thinking so this is um say you're in a hurry and or you really want to talk to chat and there's game sound that's pit that's like distracting you, you hit this desktop's muted they won't hear anything same thing for the mic say uh your mom's calling my mom tends to call me quite often while i'm streaming unfortunately so i just Hit that mute button and that's that. And then I'll hit I'll hit mute and then I'll hit my uh, be right back screen and that's that. I'll talk to her, tell her to call me later, and that's that. This viewer button here, um, to to set that up, um, it's actually under the Twitch tab. It's just viewers. You just drag that in there and it'll it'll update with the number where it says viewers um, when you are live. Um, as for setting these multimedia ones up, it's under system. Uh, it's just multimedia and you just you just carry it over for example um, and then you switch it so say I want to do mute it'll change the icon instantly for those multimedia ones the scenes um, those are by I use Streamlabs OBS so it makes it quite easier uh, it does normally come with OBS studio mixer tippy stream XSplit YouTube but I don't use those um, so I just have them hidden because they're a nuisance to me so from here streamlabs obs scene so uh we'll take out my ending scene for now scene throw it in there and what scene do we want to go to seriously cam only because i named them all stupid things here and, and now when i hit that's the one i'm on so we'll go to this one hi how's it going let's go ahead and switch scenes here we are flick just nothing this is awesome super quick and i recommend this for people and then effects this is something I made personally to try to add entertainment value to my stream. These are all, all right. So, um, here, let me turn my music down a bit. These here I have set to, uh, my intro music. This one's a louder version and this one's a, a quieter version. So, and then I'll show you the little waves, which is cool to show it's playing. And then I'm done. I right, am guy. I'm live, whatever to add these. Um, you go to soundboard play audio drop it down you play the audio you pick what you want so say i wanted i don't know this this is the song here put that in and then whenever i tap it oh uh, that's not the right one oh, we're going too fast boys this one it'll play and then we're done um so that's how it works and then you can set it to play stop to overlap so if i so if i were to spam it you guys hear it a ridiculous amount so we're gonna stop that so that's how that would work I have uh, right here is twitch oh, uh, create clip so say uh, I want to clip something that happened to put in a highlight video or whatever I would hit this button right now it's gonna give me a little error because I'm not streaming um, and then this one here opens it up create last clip this is a clip I made last while I was playing rust the other day two days ago um, when I actually use this command. So that's like proof that I actually use these. Um, that's awesome. These here are all, all these I have set to sounds. So Bruh. Bruh. we have a air horn, just, just basic, basic stuff, right? Um, you can get really creative with these. Um, I'm still working on more things that I'd like to like to add, but just for now, that's the ones I have.
and then I have rewards. Um, I have Streamlabs OBS's currency system set up. So I have, for example, follow only, emote only, slow mode, and sub chat. So for example, say someone someone cashes in with the currency system to enable slow mode, I hit that button. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna actually work right now because I am not live, like I said. Um, but it'll change the icon over and it'll be noticeable that you have slow mode on. It'll say in chat and whatnot. And that's how that works. Um, and it just makes it it just makes everything w way more simple when streaming uh i've started to use these bottom icons more now um than i do actually going to them myself by typing it in the browser or opening the program even though it's just as simple as in the windows key and typing this is just still significantly faster um especially while streaming and i'm trying to go quick 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 and um keep viewer retention so that has been the Streamlabs OBS guide here. Um, there's still a ton of extra stuff that you can do within the within the tools given to you, and I'm sure that you guys can find some creative ass things to do with it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I made it well enough. Please let me know in the comments section down below if you found any awesome more new creative ways to use this. I'd love to know and use them on my own streams. But thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your day.